come to gloat over my misfortune? Or does alchemy simply want to make sure I leave town? No matter. Neither of you need worry about me any longer. My brother wants nothing to do with me, and I'll respect that. I depart for Lelandril today. Why now, after everything? Fine. I'll listen, if only to give her a piece of my mind for keeping my brother from me. If Laredel is truly set upon joining the House of Reveries, he should have told me instead of running away. I deserve a goodbye. I don't understand any of this, but I do know you involved yourself in a matter that you had no need to. And I suppose you were trying to help. That deserves some recompense. Take this for your efforts. I won't trouble you again. If you wish to speak on Laredel's behalf, speak. I have no time for games. I... I must apologize, Renaid. I wasn't honest with you. Laredel never envied your ability with magic. He feared you wouldn't join the Sapiarchs if he insisted on remaining here. How can I believe a word you say? If Laredel truly believed that, he would speak to me himself. I am speaking with you, Rinny. Laredel? But... But how? I've been a member for over a year now, and I should never have lied to you. I feared... Well, what I feared doesn't matter anymore. I'm going to tell you the truth, all of it. You had best do so at once, little brother. Uh, little sister. If this is truly what you wanted, why not just tell me? All I want is for you to be happy. Then perhaps we can both be happy now, even if we must be apart. But first, let us sit by the sea. I feel like there's much for us to talk about. I must talk with my sister, but feel free to visit me in the Manor of Masks. I'd love to have a chat any time.
I finally decide to pursue true art, to move beyond painting backdrops for someone else's stage. And what models do I find? Polished, unblemished, all-round, boringly beautiful. I need someone who will give my work meaning, a depth of morality. As a matter of fact, I do. I've heard rumors of a Hulkind in the forest outside Relenthiel, a perfect subject for my work. I'd like you to serve as my proxy and arrange a meeting between us. The sinkhole nearby should serve my purpose. High elves who are cast out from their families as children. A horrible fate in our society. Somerset may appear as perfect as a pastoral painting, but darkness lies backstage. I want to face our taboos without blinking. Will you help me? Thank you for accepting my offer. I travel to the Hulkin myself, but the wilderness is no place for an artist. Besides, they may be more willing to talk to a newcomer such as yourself. The Hulkind are well known for being distrustful. High elves strive for perfection in all things, and their bloodline most of all. Hulkins are children abandoned by their families for some perceived imperfection, generally a physical deformity. They're more than just orphans. They're outcasts. In Somerset, family stands above all. They guide your life, almost immeasurably. To be without family is to be unseen, unrecognized as a member of our society. There's not much of a life a Hulkin can make for themselves because of that. I will admit it's an odd desire. Most don't even wish to speak of them. But as an artist, I find myself fascinated with the subject. I want to capture that taboo, to paint the morally grey, where so many only wish for black and white. Hilary, these mysterious deaths are our business to solve, not yours. Little busy at the moment. You know, now's not the time to be wandering around, what with the gruesome killings and clueless investigators. Could wind up dead, or answering questions until you wish you were. From what I gather, 
Soldiers at Katon Keep have been disappearing in the night, only to have their desiccated bodies show up days later. The garrison's completely spooked. I came to look into it, but the Divine Prosecution beat me here. We don't exactly see eye to eye when it comes to hunting baddies, so now they're going to spend weeks questioning soldiers and measuring footprints, while more people get turned to jerky. Actually, maybe you could help me with that? I really thought I was going to have to do a lot more convincing. Helping strangers break into keeps a hobby of yours. What hobby? What I really need is a distraction. If you can keep Lindafoy at the gate, busy for a minute, I can handle the rest. I have a document saying I'm an inspector sent by the proxy queen to investigate. But since Lindafoy and everyone else in there knows that's not true, I can't use it. You, though. Show it to Lin, act all high society, and waltz right in. Doesn't matter. It'll buy me time to sneak past either way. If you do get inside, all the better. We can partner up. I'm sure you'll do fine. It helps if you imagine a really big stick up your... spine. Straight back. Perfect. All right, Royal Inspector. Off you go. Just talk like you've never interacted with an actual person at any point in your life. We'll put a stop to these killings, and maybe not even get arrested. Fun, right? The Divine Prosecution are great at stopping crime and rooting out sedition. But stuff like this, things that go bump in the night, that's when you need a specialist. I'm very special. It's a hobby. Well, more of a lifelong calling that leaves me little time for hobbies, but I'm doing what I love, and in my own way, and I'm really good at it. Not that the Divine Prosecution would ever admit it. The Divine Prosecution cordoned off the area, and like I said, they're not big fans of me. I may have been a bit indelicate when I suggested they collectively had the hunting sense they keep the peace in Somerset, mostly by making sure no one steps out of line. When some- Only slightly, and the Order has bigger concerns at the moment. Once it's clear you're not a suspect, I'm sure they'd let you off with a stern warning. But we're not going to get caught, right? This keep has been ordered sealed by the Divine Prosecution, pending the completion of our investigation. Please be on your way. That's interesting, because investigating these killings is obviously the jurisdiction of the Divine Prosecution. So something tells me you're full of Griffin Guano. Give me one reason why I shouldn't hold you for questioning. Let me see those. It looks official. I don't know who you are, but this investigation is clearly under our purview. This is about politics, isn't it? Always politics. Of course you can't. Fine, go inside. I won't stand in your way, but stay out of mine.
must have clenched pretty hard to sell those forged papers to the likes of Lin. Relax, before you sprain something. Now all we have to do is find and kill a murderous Daedra that's evaded capture for weeks. Easy, right? Most killers don't suck out all your organs, and leave a corpse with the consistency of stale bread. Mortal ones, anyway. And neither do vampires, for that matter. Aside from that, I have my methods of sniffing out Daedra. Well, when you expose the stem of an attuned Wilderking rod to air that someone breathed in the presence of a Daedra, it glows orange. Also, my latest Squarblood scribing said, You know what, just watch and learn. I'm getting to that. Don't rush me. Just stand back and don't radiate any palpable evil, alright? This is a little trick I picked up in Coral. Stendar, shine your righteous light on those that would flee your justice. Show me where evil lurks, and I will deliver retribution. Two lights? There's not supposed to be... Alright, whatever. I'll follow this one. Follow that light, and see where it leads you. Then meet me inside the refectory. Go, go! Ah, the accomplice. Welcome. Two arrests in one day. This is going to reflect well on my next report. Oh, did you? Well, let me see it then. The insatiable, is it? Who writes this rubbish? Grizzly rubbish at that. I'll admit the methods are similar to our case, but this still doesn't prove the presence of an actual Daedra. Where did you find this? I was never informed of any architectural eccentricities. Something the garrison will answer for. So that spell might have some merit. 
Silery claims it was leading her to a Daedra hiding in the cellar. Are you willing to stake your freedom on that? To be clear, when all is said and done with this, I'm arresting you anyway. But I'll indulge this line of inquiry. If you're right, I'm sure your cooperation will reflect favorably in your trial. Fleeing will not. Am I understood? Release her. But, sir! Now. This is a mistake. We're all done being idiots? Good. Let's find this Daedra. This is going to end badly. Now, now, children. This might be fun. I've not hunted a Daedra in decades. This light will reveal the Daedra. Be ready. More outsider magic. Reckless Silery. Have a little faith, High. It's tracking something. A dead end. How embarrassing. No! After her! Can't say I didn't warn them. Come on! Fan out! That thing can't have gone far. Fan out? Why? I thought you didn't believe me. Check down the hall. I'll see what I can find up ahead. Well, I think we might be on the right track. Ow. Our Daedra Summoner, no doubt. No one I recognize. Begs questions, but that can wait. Give chase and find Linda Fue. Silery went after her, but there was an awful lot of screaming. Through those doors, down where we keep the wine. This place, it's Katarn, but different. I'm probably not making much sense, am I? away into the real world. I'll hold it as long as I can. Chew on that for a while, gut sucker. 
Silery, you saved me. I don't look so surprised. Come on, let's get out of here. that mage and kick her ass. I'm going back for high. You'll be trapped. Why does she never listen? Damn it, Sidery! I can't let her lord this over me. We have to save them. She must be hiding in these ruins. Wait, I know where we are. These ruins are right under the nose of Katon Keep. Sidery and I explored here as children. We always did love mysteries. Our mothers hated it. We'd come home covered in clay. So, the mage got into Katon Keep through here somehow. Was that her reason for coming here? We still don't know our suspect. The motives? Barely anything, really. Gods, this investigation has really gotten away from me. A conspiracy? Now that's something I can grasp. The tone of this letter suggests our perpetrator can't afford to simply go into hiding. We're backing her into a corner. That'll make her desperate. What's that? I just felt a ripple of magicka, like the opening of those portals, but much larger. I think the others are in danger. It came from that way, across the bridge. No sign of Tyraniel, but this is definitely the epicenter of the magic I felt.
There's still power clinging to this Aldma altar. It must be the bridge she is using to travel to and from the realm of that... thing. Theoretically, from what little I know about opening portals to Daedric realms, there's typically an object here, in Tamriel, that is attuned to the place in question. This Aldma altar is the only thing I'm getting a strong feeling from. Not as it is. If this is a bridge, then Tyraniel has barred and locked the gates. We need to undo her spell, then I should be able to recreate the ritual to open the way for us. In my experience, most cultists tend to just ape whatever spells and rituals someone else develop. That letter you showed me mentioned books from her benefactor. You found one for Daedra's summoning. It stands to reason there's another for this. That was... dramatic. That's it! It reeks of that monster's realm. I'll hold it open. Go. Ugh, it feels like worms wriggling through my soul. You? Again? How did you reach this place? I won't let you ruin my big moment. I won't. I'll feed your corpse to the insatiable. my fill of this place. Let's excuse ourselves before any more dinner guests arrive. I might fast for a month after this. Thanks for stopping that Daedra-loving loony from sucking out my soul. You took a big risk sticking your neck out for us. But what are recent acquaintances for, right? Guess I owe Lin, too. Not going to live that down. We'll be fine. It's not the first time someone has tried to drain and devour my soul. Happens more often than you'd think, actually. Hazards of the job. As for High, I think he's secretly enjoying all this excitement. She was raving about her work not being done, and how she was going to use our desiccated husks to restore the insatiable. I sort of tuned it out at a certain point, but got the impression she wasn't doing all this for her own amusement.
No surprise there. Daedra worshippers always seem to work in groups. How do they even meet? Single cultist postings on the local bulletin boards? Bet they're hiding them under the crafting writs. Looks like someone got bitten by the hunting bug on this little adventure. Savor your victory, killer. Katon Keep is safe again thanks to you. Judging by these results, I should rope random strangers into my work more often. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Now that the immediate danger's passed, I will want to get back to combing through the details of what transpired here. It'll be really boring. Like, really boring. But since you got us back on speaking terms, I'll help Lin and Hai investigate. Hey, don't go rubbing my nose in it. It wasn't easy fighting off Daedra with Hai slumped over my shoulder. You'd think he'd make a better shield with that hard head of his. That mage got the drop on us while we were licking our wounds. Ah, uh, well, Lin and I grew up around here. We always had a knack for sticking our noses where they didn't belong. So the Divine Prosecution was a natural fit. For her, anyway. Too rigid for me, so I left. There were some hard feelings. He's our mentor. Was my mentor. Loves his work, and he's a good person, but he clings too tightly to protocol. He took the brunt of the abuse from our superiors when I was out of line. I thought he'd have been happy when I resigned my commission. <laughs> no, Hai and Lin were always more than colleagues to me. We were friends. We'll stick by each other. The Divine Prosecution has a long way to go before they take back the likes of me. Not that I'd want to go back anyway. You'll want to talk to Hai about that, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. The Divine Prosecution doesn't welcome outside perspectives with open arms. If you think Hai and Lin can be stuffy, you should see their superiors. You broke more than a dozen statutes with your antics today. Regulations state that I should place you under arrest, but I'm thinking we haven't been following much procedure today anyway. Thank you for your assistance in this investigation. I should have, shouldn't I? She was once among the best members of the Divine Prosecution, but too cavalier for most, and far too interested in unconventional methods for our superior's tastes. For my tastes. She believed the Prosecution would be better served by employing methods devised outside of Somerset. Foreign ideas, foreign magic. She faced censure many times. Frustrated, Silery left the Order to strike out on her own. <sighs> Won't let me off that easy, eh? Right. I didn't believe her because I didn't want to believe she was right. Because I still resented her selfishness in walking out on her duty. And on us. Nindifwe and I didn't agree with her, but we stuck by her. She was right. We are stubborn and stolid. If we continue to believe our way is the only way, we're going to be unprepared for the changes ahead. The Queen's decree will bury us. Convincing the Divine Prosecution of that? It'll be a long, hard road. Closed, for now. Lindefwe bridged us here for our safety. I imagine Tyranniel did something similar to inter Katarn keep undetected. A dreadfully potent ability in the wrong hands, as we've seen. The books you found will need to be sealed away. Its purpose wasn't to open the portal, though its power does pose some concerns. 
It would be hearsay to destroy an Aldmer artifact, but I will recommend that those ruins be patrolled regularly from now on. Yes, I imagine you do. You've earned that, right? What in particular do you want to discuss? From what Lindefway told me about what you found, I do have a theory, but you didn't hear it from me. In fact, I would suggest you do not repeat it to anyone who you do not implicitly trust. I believe this is the court of Bedlam's doing. A secret society I have only caught hints of. Very influential. More than one of my investigations has ended prematurely because I caught a whiff of them. I can't prove that, of course, but a Justicia knows. If you cross paths with them, be careful. Nothing good, I wager. I don't know what they're after, but this is not the first time I've seen the heretics wield Daedra to their ends. Where there are Daedra, trouble is sure to follow. Silery is going to be very busy when we find them. A trip to the apothecary in the Keep's wine rations. Not necessarily in that order. Fortunately, I don't need to be fighting fit to review evidence. I hope that by the time Lindefue, Silery, and I are fully on the mend, we'll have some solid leads. Not directly. It's an official investigation. People will be watching. I need to tread carefully. You have good instincts a sense of justice, and the might to wield it. When all is said and done, I suspect we'll only arrive to clean up after you. By all means. I'm not going anywhere. Quickly, at any rate.
Thank you for heeding my call, newcomer. I don't suppose your passage to Somerset brought you past Waston Coraldale? My father, Curteros, runs a boat in an angler fleet. They're long overdue, and while his stride tends to be a leisurely one, I've never seen the whole fleet gone for so long. <laughs> I'm probably over-concerned. The weather's been fair and the wind's mild. Perhaps their fishing has been so fruitful they dare not waste their good fortune. But I'd feel better if I knew what to make of their delay. The fleet set off west. Western Coraldale is an island engulfed by coral reefs, but you can reach it safely in that sailboat. I'd go with you, but I'm afraid I don't share my father's comfort with open water. Not especially. I've never been myself, but father's only remarked about the occasional ornery coral crab or hungry salamander. The reefs are the only real hazard, but only to a ship of considerable size and flimsy make. Oh, there's not much to tell. He's plied the sea for its bounty for as long as I can recall, and that's some time, mind you. We eat well, and he makes a fair bit of coin with his best catches, but sometimes I wish he'd keep a bit more lively. Not since I was very young. My father took me fishing once, showed me how to bait a hook, coax a bite and work the line until the catch ties out. It wasn't meant to be an eventful trip, but it turned out that way. Father dozed off, so I continued to apply what I'd learnt without him. Soon enough, I'd hooked my first catch. Or rather, it hooked me. Yanked me clear off the boat and into the deep. I was too shocked to let go of the rod. Nearly drowned. Yes, fished me out of the drink, quite literally. He still calls me his prized catch. It's funnier when you're not coughing up seawater.
Uh, well, uh, ma? Never seen you before. Guess no one told you that he's... Huh. Aye. Best we split. Tell her my... Too quiet. Enemy movement. Three, aside from my... Stranger, don't anger the salamanders. They're the only thing keeping those sea elves from wandering too close. What are you doing out here? I've never seen you before. You're sure we're talking about the same Kerteros? The one I know is more likely to be mistaken for dead and sleep right through this whole mess. All right, you two go prepare the boat our friend brought. We'll provide a distraction. Trinamax Wrath be with us.
seals, fond of winged snakes and soggy chests. Noted. Ah, fleshy, thick thumb biped. Hello. Uh, you're an elf, right? Or is it a man? I'm sorry. I have some difficulty telling you people apart. Uh, you're much less blue than the others. In color, I mean, not disposition. <laughs> anyway, what can I do for you? Josage. Josage, Josage, Josage. Wait, you're talking about that jittering mage I tricked into freeing me, right? Oh, she's a delight. I had hoped for a longer holiday. Can only manage a leap like this once a century, after all. I will. I'm actually quite comfortable here, mate. Cozy accommodations, the transliminal tones of the ocean waves, gangly meat brains to mock. But I guess I should be going. These ills plan to sell me. Can you imagine? I'll help you. On one condition. When we're done sewing up these chronosymphonic dis... <laughs> when we're done sewing up these time breaches, you'll let me wander the Mundus in peace. No more dim-witted sigics hibbering me with questions. No more dusty shells. We have a deal? Right. So, should we get going, or...? Of course you do. Everyone asks questions, and I have all the answers. Fair warning. Be specific. I'm bound to tell the truth, but the truth can be a little... slippery. You know what I mean? I'm a traveler like you. Except, well, nothing like you, to be honest. No offense. I'm what you might call an aspect, eh? Like, an idea's shadow. Don't make a face, I'm telling you the truth! Not my fault your language is so... I'm not in the skull. I am the skull. At least, here on Nern. Over in the adjacent place, I'm shaped like a throat pillow. Imagine that. You look confused. It, it's just a trick of the light, mate. The skull's what you might call a manifestation. Of me! <laughs> ah, this is just sad. Try this. Imagine a soul gem. Got it? Now imagine that the soul and the gem is also the gem itself. Weird, right? Ha! Mime and a head explosion. Y you can't see it because I haven't got any arms, but it's happening. I am one of the unfortunate quirks of the Sigic binding ritual that brought me here. I'm free to lie as much as I like, unless you, or anyone else for that matter, ask me a direct question. Cheap trick, if you ask me. They did. A bit. I'm certain I could break out if I really put my mind to it. I don't blame them, honestly. If I was in their position, bobbing along like a little lost acorn in an ocean of knowledge, well, I'd want to trap me too. I guess, but instantaneous translocation's not like a Sunda scroll. The veil here in Mundus is all thick and sticky, you know? Like I said before, I think I'm grounded for the foreseeable future. Oh well. I had no idea you were so funny. Ah, we're gonna have a really good time, you and I. Yes, in answer to your direct question, I do know a lot, and by... Will an auger of the obvious wouldn't be very useful, would it? For what it's worth, I lobby for something way more impressive. The resplendent skull of hexagonal wonders! It was forcefully vetoed. No counting for taste, I guess. Of course I do. Everything has a name. Names give a thing its shape. Birds, snowflakes, tea kittles, you get the idea. I tell you mine, but you'd need about six more tongues and a pair of symbols to pronounce it correctly, so let's not bother. Fair enough. So, where to? I assume you've got a map or something?
He didn't call me the scourge of the sea drinks for nothing! Fall back and get to the boat.
Captain, coming aboard. Boats prepped and ready. Had me so worried. What happened? Where's your boat? None of that now, Manevis Cup. I'll tell you all about it. But first, there's one more thing we need to see to. Come, friends. It's time we commit our memories to the drink. He washes up here after being gone for weeks, his boat nowhere in sight, and he acts like it's just another day on the sea. Was everything all right? Did he cause you any trouble? Oh, he put you up to that, didn't he? Papa always loves to embellish his journeys. Whatever the truth is, I'm just glad you brought him home safe. If all newcomers are so kind, Somerset will be fortunate to have you. He's not fooling me. I can tell something happened. Father's putting on a brave face, like he used to whenever I'd ask him about his younger days. He'd smile and deflect the question, but I could see a sadness in his eyes he couldn't hide. His secret. The fanciful story of meeting my mother, a myth about how the moon and stars winked on the day of my birth, and tall tales about his fishing voyages. Before that, not a word. Not once. I don't think I'll ever get the truth out of him. Seventy years isn't enough. I love my father, but all I want is to love him for who he is, not who he shows me. When he was missing, I wasn't just worried I'd lose him. I was worried I'd never get the chance to know him. You didn't come here to listen to a grown woman bawling about her father to a stranger. Forgive me. You did enough bringing him home safe. What comes after is up to me. He and his mates have a tradition of celebrating their safe return. They're partial to a small batch brewer on the south side of Alanor, by the craft masons. 
They'll probably be there all night. The fanciful story of meeting my mother, a myth about how the moon and stars winked on the day of my birth, and tall tales about his fishing voyages. You're serious? So what you said about the sea elves attacking, it was all true. What's he hiding? Was he a pirate? I always wondered if he didn't talk about it because he was ashamed. Why would he hide that? I'm sorry, I have so many questions and it's not you who has the answers. I'll leave my father to the company of his friends for now. But when he's ready to come home, he can't leave his other life behind this time. Oh yes, she and Carterell have been together for years. She used to look after me when I was younger, while father and the others were off at sea. She's a good friend. I imagine she'll be with father and the others, waiting to see Carterell when she arrives.
Zero Eld! Kitora orders you into the fray! It's March Land Dweller! nearby. I don't know why you're so intent on sealing them. Linear time is so overrated. Just imagine, you could die before you were even born. Wait, that's, that's horrifying, isn't it? I'm sorry. Never mind.
summon Rula Many Claws from the deep spawning pool. Perhaps you only think you won, dead crawler. Have you heard? A high elven woman, Alas, returned Ivea to the Somerset Isles.
Cloudrest destroyed by Shad? You have the look of a traveler. Tell me, have you heard news of Cloudrest? The city within the mountains of Eton Mir? My mother is there, and I feel she may be in danger. Bad dreams? A great darkness devouring Cloudrest as it filled the streets. My mother's last letter spoke of the Welkanars capturing the sea slowed Zamaj just a few days ago. If there's anything powerful enough to destroy a city, it's a slowed. Yes, I'm afraid I do. Could you travel to Cloudrest and seek out my mother, Bellerin? I must warn you, though. Should my dreams be true, such a journey may come at great risk. You'll want to gather many allies by your side before heading off. I know a few merchants headed to the city. I'm sure they'd be amenable if you asked for a ride in their cart. And remember, gather as many allies as you can before heading out. If Zamaja has attacked Cloudrest, you'll need the aid. If Cloudrest is known for anything, it's the Welkanas. The fact that they were able to capture something as dangerous as a sea slow tells you of their might in battle. Especially one as powerful as Zamaja. I only know what my mother's letter described. Zamaja is known for her shadow magic. She can shape darkness to do her bidding. The way I hear it, the Welkanars had to slay a hundred shadow creatures before they were able to capture her. They're battle mages, all four of them. Some of the greatest warriors on the Isle. Together they watch over all of Somerset. Many call them Griffin Knights, due to their chosen steeds. It's truly a sight seeing them soar above the clouds. My advice? Find more warriors. If Zamaja has managed to escape, she won't be easy to battle. Even alone, Slodes are notoriously strong magic users. The more seasoned warriors you can join up with, the better chances you have of defeating her. I see something within you, a glistening jewel ready to be polished, a passion teeming with brilliance though not yet realized. Tell me, do you wish to be certified in jewelry crafting? A certification will allow you to fulfill jewelry crafting writs. But first, let's get started, shall we? Pewter Darf, there should be... What do you want? Pajit's family died when the plague threatened the center. I shall await. I've heard tell.
though it may now that you have. Well, do you have a ring? Not yet. We have... Your bear most certainly. I hereby ordain you a f you are now free to accept jewelry crafting. You can research it. I have heard of Welcome to one of our...
now a request from the Office of Divine Prosecution. Animal handling desired. Ah, another a femme. Ever since the Queen's decree, I can't take three steps without bumping into someone who lacks even a drop of Ultima blood. No offense intended, of course. Shall I presume you'll hear about the contract work? It's a sad day indeed when the Divine Prosecution requires outside help. But these are tumultuous times. With the army engaged on foreign shores and so many visitors on our island, our resources are stretched thin. Hence the contracts. Each assignment varies in scope, but all assume a certain level of danger. Some can be completed alone, but others will need allies to complete. You'll be asked to dispatch dangerous creatures, investigate suspicious activity. Those sorts of tasks. In accordance with our current regulations, each deputized citizen may accept a single contract from each Justicia every day. You are encouraged, of course, to check back regularly for new assignments. Does this kind of work appeal to you? Very well. I hereby authorize you to execute... Go speak to Farewell and to Norian. They can set you up with contracts and get you right to work. The Divine Prosecution is a division of the Queen's Thalmor, charged with enforcing secular and religious law through Somerset. We investigate corruption and crime and adjudicate legal disputes. Your assignments will reflect this broad scope. Justicia Tenorian's contracts can be handled by a single agent. Well, Justicia Farrowell's assignments require a group to eradicate the dangerous beasts she cares about. And at some point, talk to Battle Reef Tanaline about specialized missions. Ah, there you are. I see you've been deputized by Chief Justicia Carwin. It's quite exciting. We've got another invasive species making their homes here on Somerset and... Yes, indeed. I thought Wild Reef... There would have to be... As a duly sworn deputy of the Divine Prosecution, your aid is... The problem is I have the ignominy... Investigators on their way to Silverwood's... This threat to... This day... Officers of the Divine...
What do you need?
you need. I came to Somerset with many hopes. I have been assured this place I tried to open up a shop. He's not a shop, The last it high. 